Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a little look at the SimBrief integration for the heavy division uh, modifications to the Microsoft Flight Simulator Boeing 787-10. So I hope you find it useful. I'm going to show you guys the process on how to link SimBrief to the MFD inside the cockpit. Click like and especially subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, especially do so if you enjoy today's video and let me know what you think in the comments below. So we're at Manchester Airport on Microsoft Flight Simulator, scenery uh, which is made by Macu Simulations that I can highly recommend and you can see where it stands, 206. If we jump straight into the flight deck you can just get the electrics on as you would usually and um, that will be for a different sort of tutorial and you'll start off with a page similar to the right hand side here which says IDENT and the model aircraft number, the engine types etc. You'll also have a option at the bottom that says heavy. Now before we go any further you want to head to Simbrief and you want to generate a flight plan for the route you're going to be flying on today. So for the purpose of this example I'm showing you guys um, a Thompson flight or TUI flight as it now is I guess uh, from Manchester Airport to Tapa which is Antigua. Aircraft type I've got shown as a 787-10 and I've set a random cruise profile cost index of 35 there's your pilot ID which is going to be useful in a second and there's our route as well with our current air rack of 2104 and you can see we've got a couple of waypoints and we've also then got a load of coordinates as well all the way down to Ampto and then Antigua VOR scroll further down and you can see that that's what the route looks like and all of these are going to be oceanic waypoints all the way down to Antigua. So if we're happy and the route looks valid, we don't want to tweak it, just hit generate. While that's working away, head back to your flight deck and you want to click the button at the bottom that says heavy. Click into configuration and then click through Simbrief and you want to add your username for Simbrief which is what your username is to log on to the Simbrief website into the top field and your user ID is the pilot number, that pilot ID that I just showed you guys a second ago. Once that's done and your route is generated on Simbrief you want to click onto route. So we've generated our route and you can see if we scroll down we've got airtime of 7 hours 49, 48 minutes, block fuel 50,000 kilos basically and you can see our routing there as well including some waypoints and again, not all of these routes on, wait on Simbrief are accurate, so they might throw errors, they might have invalid airways, waypoints and things that don't exist anymore. And when you try and import it at this point, which we're about to do, it may well throw some errors. So, route, route request. So from the route page, you want to go to route request and click load from flight plan. Click it once and let it do its thing. And you'll see if it's going green, then it's happy and it's adding it in. If you get a problem it'll either freeze the process and stop and you'll get a error at the bottom or as it's done there it's loaded it all in and not given us a waypoint issue. We can add a runway 05 left for departure and we can check the legs so knock in, battery, WTD, Gipper Puna and Director Rodal, there we go, and then we've got all the oceanic waypoints down to 22 degrees north, 060 west, and then the VOR at the airport. Lovely stuff. So head back to route and you want to activate your route to commit it. So you can also click the exec button. The green light doesn't always illuminate to give you that prompt, but if you can see activate written here then it's usually a clue that the exec, the execute button needs to be clicked. So I've clicked it and that's now disappeared. Let's go into the departure arrival index and we know that currently for the weather we want 05 left and we have the adds me one Sierra departure. So let's add that in as well. You can see there it's added into our plan. Execute and there we go. So we've done 
Simbrief integration, adding our username. We've had a quick look at our flight plan on Simbrief itself and how to generate that. We've covered route requests, so how to pull that into our MFD via Simbrief with the integration with a heavy division mod. And then we've quickly gone in and just showed you guys how to show and select the departure that you want for the runway in use. If you're on VATSIM and you're on Unicom, a little top tip just before we finish. In the chat box on vPilot, type dot metar and then space. In this instance, EGCC, and it will give you the current weather at Manchester Airport. So if you're connecting to VATSIM and you've got no ATC, that's a great way to help you guys work out what runway you might want to use. So I hope you guys have found the video useful and informative. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure as well that you uh, use everything available to you in case you do get some problems with waypoints not going in quite properly. Uh, some of it will need a little bit of investigation and working out on your end to try and get it all to match up nicely. Especially if you've got some airways that no longer exist with an old ARAC. They won't be in the simulator anymore with the latest air rack being updated necessarily. So you'll then get the waypoint error and the process will stop. You'll probably have to dig through and have a little look. But use the tools on, on Simbrief to help you. Uh, things like Sky Vector really useful because they show you guys what airways are around. And they can, it basically plots your route with a magenta line so you can see where it might be going wrong and how you might be able to tweak it. Then you can copy and paste that string. I'll show you guys here. So that's our route for today. And if it was wrong, if it was incorrect and it took us over here somewhere, then I can just correct it. So as a pure example, if I wanted to fly a little bit on this Tango 7 airway down to Neaton, I could click there, add it in, and you can see it update on the left. I can copy that route string, go back to Simbrief, hit edit, and then go down to here and paste it in. Make sure you remove the spaces. Click Analyze Route. And then you'll be able to see it here, what we've just done on Sky Vector. Remember to click generate and then you can try again. So some of the routes might be trial and error, especially the really long routes in particular. You might have to tweak it a couple of times. If you want to get your hands on the heavy division Boeing 787-10 mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator, then check the links in the description down below for their Discord server and you'll be able to get all the information on how to download it there. And enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful, giving you loads of tools to get started and get the most out of the Dreamliner in the sim finally. Make sure you click like and subscribe down below as well if you haven't done so already and check out my live stream schedule. In the meantime, thanks for watching.